You probably noticed that the official Laravel installer has gotten rid of the Laravel Breeze option when we create a new project. I'm going to show you very quickly how to get Laravel Breeze installed on a Laravel 12 and above project. So the first thing that we're going to do is just create a project as normal. So let's call this Laravel hyphen breeze just to keep things simple. But when we get the prompt for a starter kit, we're going to choose none. We don't want to include one of the new starter kits. OK, so we can go through the database options as normal. So let's choose MySQL here and we'll say yes and yes to run our migrations. We don't necessarily need to run npm install and npm run build. We can do that once we've installed Laravel Breeze. So let's just choose no there for now. OK, so we're going to go into the Laravel Breeze directory and we're going to open this up in our editor. OK, so now within your editor's terminal or, of course, just the terminal that you're already working with, we're going to go ahead and do a composer require on Laravel slash Breeze. I'm going to provide the dev option. Let's go ahead and run that. That will pull down all of the Breeze dependencies. We're not quite done, though. We need to go ahead and install this, which will create this out for us. If we take a look in the browser at the moment, you can see we just get the Laravel uh, 12 default splash screen. So back over to here, we're going to run PHP artisan breeze install. And that's going to go ahead and start off the process that we would usually see when we ran the Laravel new command. So here you can see we can choose any of the options that we're familiar with. I'm going to go ahead and choose view with inertia here just to demonstrate this. And of course, you can choose any of the optional features. Choose your testing framework. In my case, I'll always go with test and we just wait for this to finish. Now, once this has finished, depending on which option you've chosen, you might need to run your migrations again and you'll probably need to run npm install and npm run dev. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go ahead and run PHP artisan migrate just in case there are any migrations that have been created. And I'm going to run npm install and npm run dev to install and build my development dependencies. If we head over to the browser now, you can see that we get a familiar splash screen here and we can go ahead and use Breeze as normal. So there we go. On Laravel 12 and above, we can still use Breeze. We just need to do this in a slightly different way.